I work at the University of Edinburgh's Roslyn Institute. The scientists at the Roslyn Institute work to make the health of humans and animals better using science. Most of us work with traditional farmed animals like chickens, sheep, pigs and cows. Each day at work looks different. Some days I have work to do in the lab. For example, I sometimes grow cells in a small dish. To keep these cells happy, I need to feed them and sometimes move them to a new dish so that they have plenty of room to grow. I use a microscope to look at these cells and take photos of them. Each time I carry out an experiment, I'm asking a question. For example, do the cells grow better or worse when I change what I'm feeding them? What do the cells do when they meet microorganisms like bacteria and viruses? During my early years at school, I did not enjoy science because there were lots of things I did not understand. I never thought that I would become a scientist. But then I had a science teacher who was really enthusiastic and I became interested and started to read about science outside of school. I'm quite a quiet person as I find speaking in meetings and answering questions difficult. Before a meeting I prepare what to say and think about what people may ask me and this makes it a lot easier. The advice I would give my younger self is to not be discouraged when things get hard. Often in science, things don't go as planned and experiments may not work the first time, but don't let this put you off. If you find something confusing and difficult, then ask for help. Even the most experienced scientists need to ask for advice at times. My advice would be to read about and explore the aspects of science that really interest you. If you enjoy science, you can learn about it in your free time, not just at school. You can borrow books from the library or watch videos about planets or plants or whatever interests you. This will increase your enthusiasm and knowledge about the area and give you ideas about what you could do in the future. Mm -hmm.